So after that disappointing result at Old Trafford, we return to the Champions League as we welcome Real Madrid to Wembley on Wednesday. Now both teams are sitting with seven points at the top of the group whilst Apua and Dortmund have one point each. Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's get into the Real Madrid preview. So very quickly on how Madrid are doing, they lost 2-1 at Girona on Sunday, so now they're currently third in La Liga. Navas had a groin problem, so he couldn't play, but he's set to be back against us. Bale didn't make the squad and Varane had to get subbed off at half time. I'm really excited because I'm going to the game. Please let me know if you're going as well in the comments down below. You can let me know on Twitter, on Snapchat or Instagram. I'll probably aim to get to the Bobby Moore statue around 7ish, but as I said, check my other social media accounts to know exact timings or roughly when I'm leaving. So moving on to team news, I am recording this before Poch's official press conference, but I have a feeling he won't risk Harry Kane. And Wanyama is also out, so I'm safe for the whole season. Lamella has been training, but he's yet to be in a matchday squad. However, he did suggest on his Instagram story that he will be back soon. Now, Aurea and Davies played against Man United, so naturally we could assume that maybe Rose and Trippier will be back, I guess subject to Rose's fitness. Or will he play Vertonghen as a left wing back? Interesting question. Hopefully Sanchez is back after his break. And Winks looked like the best player for me on the pitch against Man United but he did look to be a bit tired towards the end of it so will he get a break who knows I would start Lorente up front that worked really well at Madrid I know we had Kane next to him but he just knows how to play against Madrid he's had a lot of experience so I would start him the question is will he start him with Son maybe use his pace so this is the team I've gone for so what are my thoughts ahead of the game well I think it will be tactical for sure and probably a little bit cagey to start off with. Now obviously we're going into this game with two defeats on our backs and they have that loss against Girona I mentioned earlier. Now does that mean that would Madrid like a point? Would we like a point? Will we set up not to lose? Uh, we won't take the game to Madrid. I think it's more likely that we will sit back and play on the counter attack like we did against Dortmund. But we will also have a more or less full house, 80 plus, 85,000 people there. So hopefully the atmosphere will be brilliant and I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. So moving on to predictions, whilst my previous Madrid game, I predicted one all spot on, it felt like it was just I had one all written all over it before it even started, at least in my opinion. <laughs> but if I'm honest, I, I find this one really tough. Like I don't have a clear cut idea in my head because we look so toothless without Harry Kane at Old Trafford. Can we keep the likes of Ronaldo and all the other key players quiet? It should be a classical European night. You know, the ones you dream of, like the Inter Milans and stuff of this world. But will it be? You know what? I'm actually going to be a bit conservative. I don't think I've ever predicted a nil-nil before. But I feel like that's what I'm going to go for. So, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to what you guys have to say in the comments down below. So let me know what your predictions are ahead of the game. So, October is almost finished, let's put it to bed and focus on the new month, the 1st of November against Madrid. I'm going to the game, I'm really excited, I think I've said that three times already. So yeah, let me know if you're going and let me know what your predictions are. That's pretty much it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you would like to see more Spurs related content from me, check out my social media handles in the description box down below. Hopefully I will see you in the future. And come on you Spurs. Sorry.